In the last Q&A question video that I made, someone asked me a question which I did not address immediately because I wanted to discuss it in few details in this video so that others will benefit from it. He said, can I study nursing in Austria University with English language bachelor's degree? I'm reading from my laptop. nursing in English language. Um, University of Graz, they offer BSc nursing in, in English language or with English language. The University of St. Paulton, they offer um, nursing with English language, BSc. The University of Graz and many more. These are the universities that are, can offer you BSc nursing with English language. But the question now is, if you're coming to Austria to study and after your studies, you intend to stay to look for job, which are, there are so many healthcare jobs, so many nursing jobs in Austria. In fact, they are looking for them. Why would you want to do it in English? These are the question. You know, I have watched so many YouTube videos. They are telling you guys that German language is not important, this and that. They do research to make those videos, but I live here. I know what is on ground. And sometimes when I make video, people will come to push questions to me. I will not, I will ignore those questions because I know what I'm talking about. If you want to study BSc nursing in Austria with English language, I will advise you to think about it. Have everything about it because what's the need of going to spend three years, four years to study nursing? After that, you start looking for a job and you're not fine because you did it in English language. Here, to study nursing in um, university, all you need is B5. And to the best of my knowledge, it is better for you to do it in German because immediately you finish it, you get a job. And you earn much. What's the need of you after studying your BSc, after studying your master's, you come back to Austria to earn minimum wage when you've spent so much to elevate yourself, when you put so much to add value to your life and you want to come and you start earning minimum wage in Austria just because you did your degree in English. Most of the programs or most of the jobs you look for here in Austria, it is in German language, Dutch. But people are telling you guys something else. One of the videos I'm supposed to make, by, make before now is jobs in Austria. But it's taking me time to make that video because I don't want to make a video that will make people not to have interest anymore, to lose interest in coming to Austria, or video that will raise their standard, raise their mind above of the expectation when they come here. So I don't want to make that mistake. So I'm taking my time to make that video so that when I make it, it will be useful for you guys. So if you're coming here, my suggestion is that if you want to stay permanently here, after reading your BSc nursing in Austria, please do it in German so that you get a job, so that you get a good pay. Every healthcare job in Austria requires German language. Call it social work job, which they call it in UK, healthcare job or something. It requires German language. When I mean German language, both in speaking and writing. If you want to become a doctor here, it requires German language, both in speaking and writing. Whatever, they call it different names here, but whatever job or whatever work you want to get in Austria, it requires, especially when it is a medical field, it requires German language. Let nobody deceive you guys. I'm telling you people the truth. I've lived here over years. I'm not a social worker. I'm not a healthcare worker. But if you want to study any degree related to medical field, nursing, 
health care job, whatever it is, no, no, it's that German language is required. You have to learn it. It is very important. Let nobody tell you otherwise. Anybody that is telling you otherwise, the person is not telling you the truth. So hopefully I've made my point. Um, the next question is from, I'll be reading from my phone. The next question is from, excuse me guys, I will have to bring it out from my phone. The quest, next question is from, please, I'm coming. The next question is from Becky. He said, or she said, Hey, beautiful. Thanks for your video. I'm currently on fully funded scholarship in Austria, but I would like to apply for another scholarship I've searched, but it has not been successful. Even, even the links you have shared not show why. Thanks. Um, Becky, I'll be leaving some links in this video down below. Check it out. Get a, almost a, more than 500 scholarship for international students in Austria. So I'll be leaving the link. So check it out. Okay, thank you so much for your email. And the next person said, this person said he does not want me to read his name, so I'm just going to address some things. Hello, dearest Auntie Oge, God bless you. Exceedingly for taking your time to explain a lot of explain a lot to, to us on YouTube. Please, ma, I know I have shown about 12,000 euros before applying for study visa in nigeria after collecting the visa in nigeria do i need to transfer the money to an austria account once i land in austria no you don't need to do that that's his first question let me address it if they did not say said you should do so you don't need to do that okay and before you transfer any money to any account send them an email to verify that it's actually from the school send the school an email if actually they request that but i know they will not send them an email to verify if actually it's from them to avoid scamming, okay? So the next question is, after collecting the visa in Nigeria, do I need to transfer that money to an Austria account? So once I landed in Austria, I have addressed it. The next one is, will I need, will I, will I need to show the 12,000 in an Austria account to collect any document immediately I landed? No, you don't need that. Immediately you get to Austria go to the nearest visa office with all the documents you have and collect your one year residence permit okay that's all you need you don't need to show them uh, any twelve thousand or anything just go with all the documents you they gave you you are uh, they gave you back from embassy in nigeria go with those documents to the nearest visa office here in austria they will give you your one year visa okay student visa please don't read the okay so this is that so within the first three months of studying in austria will there be any need of showing proof of funds to any austria authority through and my Austria? you don't need that immediately they give you your uh one year visa here you don't need to show anybody anything they will not need it again okay they will not need it all you need to do is to go ahead and focus on your studies and while you study you can equally get a job Maximum of 20 hours. That is what you need. Don't go above that. Get a job that will help you to relieve you from your, some of your needs. Okay? Maximum of 20 hours and stay out of trouble. If you do that, nobody will look for you here. And when you're on your vacation, okay, you can as well do full time. Okay? To help yourself. Okay? You can also get... Tell them you want to do like one month full time to help yourself to relieve yourself from some bills bills guys you know in here there are so many information on the internet be careful of what you believe anything you're not clear clear with you can send the school an email the one thing about Australian university is that they don't take time in responding to their emails because that's the best way they communicate with their students send them an email to to verify anything that you don't understand don't believe any everything that you see on internet sometimes it could be misleading okay so i'll be stopping here please if you've not subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so that is the only thing that is making me 
to make this video subscribe give this video a thumbs up so that youtube will show you to other people share with family and friends and i will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>